Hello YouTubers, today I've got three high-drain lithium-ion batteries of 2650 size. These batteries have the same length as the 18650 batteries, but the diameter is 20 mm instead of 18 mm. So let's compare them to see the difference. I've placed four batteries to show the difference. From left to right, the first battery is a AAA battery, the second one is a AA battery, this one is an 18650 size battery, and the last one is the 2650 battery. As you can see, the 18650 and the 2650 have the same length, but the diameter is different. It's only 2 millimeters of difference, but if you try to insert this battery in an 18650 holder, it won't fit. So, let's move on. Our first hero is the Senyo NCR2650A. There is a letter L after Senyo, which means that this battery is made by Senyo Higashiura company in Japan. The second hero is the LG HG6. This battery is made in South Korea. The third hero is the Queen battery QB2650 battery. This battery is made in China. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. I've done the measurements using a special battery tester, the ZK eTech EBC A20, which supports 4 wire measurement and discharging at up to 20 amps. It also supports PC connection for building the curves and I've also used a homemade battery holder which you can see it provides better grip and has larger contacts which is very important in case of discharging at high currents I've used it in this way That's it. I followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After the charging cycle, it also was left for one hour minimum. So, let's start with the Senyo battery. The cell's marking is Senyo L NCR 2650A 6219. As I've already told, the letter L after Senyo means that it's a Japanese made cell made by Senyo Energy Gashiura company. The main specifications according to its datasheet are rated capacity 2900 million powers at 20 centigrade minimum capacity 2950 million powers at 25 centigrade typical capacity 3100 million powers at 25 centigrade discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts Maximum continuous discharge current 40 amps. Standard charging current 2.065 milliamps. Maximum charging current 6 amps. Charging and voltage 4.20 volts. Let's look at the results. As you can see, at 0.2C or 0.59 amp discharge rate, a Senyo NCR 2650A gave out 2960 mAh or 10.78 Watt hours, which is a little bit more than the minimum capacity declared, but 
is less than the typical capacity according to its datasheet. At 5 amp, it gave out 2853 milliamp hours or 9.99 watt hours. At 10 amp, 2848 milliamp hours or 9.66 watt hours. At 15 amp discharge rate, it gave out 2825 milliamp hours or 9.45 watt hours. At 20 amp, uh, it gave out 2797 milliamp hours or 9.01 watt hours. So let's pass to the LG cell. The LG cell has the following marking LG DBHD6 2065 PO73C141A2. I didn't find any official datasheet across the internet, but I've collected the available information and I can tell you that the typical capacity is 3000 milliamp hours at 25 centigrade, minimum capacity uh, 2900 milliamp hours at 25 centigrade, discharge cutoff voltage is either 2.5 volts or 2.0 volts. I don't know exactly uh, which one of these values is the right one because on some sites it's mentioned as 2.0 volts and on others 2.5 volts. Maximum continuous discharge current is 40 amps. Standard charging current 1500 milliamps. Maximum charging current 4 amps. Charge end voltage 4.20 volts. At 0.2C or 0.6 amp discharge rate, LG HG6 gave out 2887 milliamp hours or 10.66 watt hours, which is lower than. Uh, 2900 milliamp hours minimum capacity declared. At 5 amp, it gave out 2790 milliamp hours or uh, 9.94 watt hours. At 10 amp, 2789 milliamp hours or 9.62 watt hours. At 15 amp, 2783 milliamp hours or 9.43 watt hours. At 20 amp uh, discharge rate, it gave out 2766 milliamp hours or 9.09 .09 watt hours. So let's pass to the Queen battery cell. The QB2650 cell doesn't have any particular marking, but it has a sticker instead, uh, which contains all the necessary information and a link to the Queen battery's official website. The main specifications according to its datasheet are capacity 2600 milliamp hours, discharge cutoff voltage 2.75 volts, maximum continuous discharge current 25 amps when the temperature is above 20 centigrade, standard charging current 1400 milliamps, maximum charging current 2.6 amps when the temperature is below 15 centigrade. Charging and voltage 4.20 volts. Pay attention to the discharge cutoff voltage of this battery. QB2650's discharge cutoff voltage is 2.75 volts, which is higher than 2.50 volts in case of Senyo and LG batteries. At 0.2C or 0.52 amps, it gave out uh, 2549 milliamp hours or 9.47 watt hours. At 5 amp discharge rate, it gave out 2419 milliamp hours or 8.47 watt hours. At 10 amp, 2414 milliamp hours or 8.16 watt hours. At 15 amp, 2412 milliamp hours or 7.91 watt hours. At 20 amp discharge rate, it gave out 2368 milliamp hours or 7.54 watt hours. So let's pass to the comparison of these batteries. Senyo and LG batteries have almost the same rating, so we can directly compare them. But Queen Battery QB2650 battery has lower rating and higher discharge cutoff voltage, so it's not correct to uh, directly compare it with Senyo and LG. But I've added uh, the curve of Queen battery cell uh, just for information, not for comparison. So you can see at 5 amp discharge rate, uh, 
The results of Senyo and LG are almost the same. They are very close. Senyo gave out 28 53 million powers or 9.99 watt hours and LG HD6 gave out 27 90 million powers or 9.94 watt hours. So the difference is 0 0.05 watt hours. Queen battery gave out 24 19 million powers or 8.5 47 watt hours. At 10 amp discharge rate, Senyo again showed a little bit higher uh, result than LG, but the difference is miserable. Senyo gave out 28 48 million powers or 9.66 watt hours, and LG gave out 27 89 million powers or 9.62 watt hours. QB2650 gave out 24 14 million powers or 8.16 watt hours. At 15 amp discharge rate, the picture is the same. Senyo gave out 28, 25 million powers or 9.45 watt hours, and LG's result is 27, 83 million powers or 9.43 watt hours. Queen battery gave out 24, 12 million powers or 7.91 watt hours. At 20 amp discharge rate, uh, Senyo gave out 2797 million powers or 9.01 watt hours and LG HD6 gave out 2766 million powers or 9.09 .09 watt hours. Queen battery QB2650 gave out 2368 million powers or 7.54 watt hours. So, which one of these batteries is the best? First of all, I need to mention that Queen Battery QB2650 battery has lower rating and lower price tag, so I can't compare it with Senyo and LG. What about Senyo and LG? They showed almost the same results, uh, the results are very close, so there is no obvious winner. Senyo offers higher standard and maximum charging current than LG, so it's preferable. That's all for today. I hope you've liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and bye bye.